Work on the cabin interior finally begins in earnest. We make templates of the interior walls. Each wall is cut from 5mm poplar plywood and then trimmed to fit. Both sides of the walls get coated with high quality sealer. To convert the trailer to electric over hydraulic braking, we replace the old surge coupler. Modern commercial houseboats have perfect lines. The historic shanty boats of old were built roughly from eclectic odds and ends. RGT 27 is somewhere in between, so we name her Not Too Shanty. Three mermaids on the transom commemorate our three girls and their help with the build. The cabin walls are insulated with 1 inch XPS foam board. Expanding foam seals and secures the insulation in place. Next, we seal the interior walls and floor with epoxy.
lightly thickened epoxy fills any remaining imperfections in the cabin floor. Surgery and recovery time and an unusually chilly spring bring our work to a halt for six months. Next, we make frames for the five windows in the fore and aft bulkheads of the cabin. A job offer brings new urgency to the build. We have 30 days to ready the boat for travel as we pack up and sell our house in Georgia and buy a new home 1,300 miles away in Wisconsin. The floor access hatches also get sealed with epoxy.
each seam is covered in foil tape. Then the interior walls are templated, cut, fitted, and painted. The window frames are painted as well. Eight side windows are installed using a bed of butyl tape. Each window is 19 inches tall by 30 inches wide, large enough to use as an escape hatch for an emergency exit. The windows, made by Anui Maygood, come with a convenient screen and shade. After cleaning up the excess butyl tape, the window exterior is sealed with Sikaflex 291. The four and aft windows are 3 8 inch thick cast acrylic plexiglass, bedded and sealed with Dow Corning 795 silicone building sealant for strength and UV resistance.
It's time to remove the old brakes, rotors, and hubs. After cleaning away the grime, we repacked the bearings and hubs with fresh synthetic grease and new seals. We install Kodiak Dacromet disc brakes, which will be actuated by a Hydrostar vented marine electric over hydraulic actuator for safer, more responsive braking. We install the final window. Then we install a Max Air Max Fan Deluxe on the cabin roof for ventilation. At last, the cabin is fully sealed and protected from the elements. A day later, it's time to hit the road for the 17-hour drive from northeast Georgia to western Wisconsin. At 12 feet high and an estimated 6,000 pounds on the trailer, the boat tows beautifully behind our F-150.
now begins the search for a new place to store the boat and finish the build.